I'm going to try something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to use steel to, uh, to hit the stone with indirect percussion. I do that sometimes on hard stone like this. Sometimes it yields good results, sometimes it'll break the point. Um, obviously, but I don't know if you can see that. I was not able to do that with the copper. Take off that minute flake from the tip. It just wasn't giving me the uh, the right amount of force. The copper was too soft. See, and this is responding well to the steel, so. I think I'll continue with the steel. That lump might be easy to remove with the steel, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what was used originally. Obviously they didn't have steel back then. original point was made. I really don't know what they used. They could have used tooth enamel. I mean, tooth. And the enamel is pretty strong. But they would have to mount the tooth onto a haft, or half the tooth onto a stick, and then use it that way. Yeah, see, that's where it's dangerous. I almost removed too much there. Responding well, maybe too well. That's really, really thin. We'll see. It's got a lot of wave to it right now, and since it's so thin right there, it's going to be very difficult to rem to uh, do anything about that now. But what I can do is just focus on removing material from right here, and just trying to flatten that as much as possible from that, from here on in. We should be able to get a very thin point. That's going to be a needle tip anyway, so I think it'll work out. You see a lot of those strip fractures on the originals. Modern nappers don't like those at all, obviously, but uh, if you want to make a point to hunt with or something that you're really needing, you just learn to ignore those 
keep going. I'm going to try to remove it later, but uh, I just wanted to bring that up. See, if I were to pressure flake on this hard material, I don't think I could get flakes off like that. I've tried before. I usually just end up pushing so hard that I'll snap the point somehow. Now that original point that we saw, it may have been heat treated to allow it to be flaked easier because this stuff really is hard. And to do this kind of thing with antler would be very difficult.